Hey guys, more Logic Pro X tips. And this is a assign the toolbox to the right mouse click like Cubase does it. Much better way to work in Logic. This is how Logic boots out of the box, so to speak. When you download and install Logic and run it for the first time, it runs in this unadvanced mode, looking like this, with wooden side cheeks at either end. And when you open the library, the picture at the top has wooden floorboards at the background. It looks a bit like GarageBand, right? Okay. Now most people immediately put it into advanced mode. All right, preferences, general, and here's your unadvanced preferences. There's very few of them, just general, audio, control surfaces, my info, and advanced. And the only thing in advanced is a tick box to show advanced tools. So you put logic into advanced mode, boom. And when logic is in advanced mode, we lose the wooden side cheeks and the picture at the top of the library has no wooden floorboards anymore. OK, and in advanced mode, we just get more of everything. So look at the preferences. There's now way more preferences, way more preferences. And in advanced, once we're in advanced mode, there are additional advanced options we can tick. Right now, when you're in advanced mode, basically you just get more of everything. So more preferences, the main menus up here have got more stuff in them. And above each editor, there's a local menu bar that runs across the top of each editor. And the edit function and view menu for the local menu bar for each editor will have more things in it. Yeah. And each editor gets two tools, a left click tool and a command click tool. The arrange area has it. Now we're in advanced mode. The piano editor has it. Left click tool, command click tool. Now we're in advanced mode. And the audio edit window has left click tool and a command click tool. Okay, and the way you use it is really simple. You assign one tool to the left click, like the pencil, one tool to the to command click, like say the eraser, and the pencil is now my default left click tool. Pencil in, hold down command, it switches to the command click tool, the eraser, erase, let go, I'm back to the left click tool, the pencil. All right, same in piano edit. I sign the pencil, for example, as my left click tool, eraser as my command click tool, pencil in, hold down command, erase, let go, and back to the pencil. Pencil in, hold down command, I get the eraser, command click tool, erase, let go, and back to the default left click tool. I've set the pencil, right? Okay, that's how it works. Best way to work though is to have a toolbox assigned to your right mouse click. So we go to the preferences again, yeah, Logic Pro preferences, you can open it by just choosing general. Go to advanced and switch on advanced editing. Boom. Logic just sort of re-kicks open like that. Nothing has changed visually. But now if we go to the general tab of preferences, editing, sub-menu, there it is, right mouse button. Opens shortcut menu. Now by default, when you put Logic into advanced mode, you get the left click tool and command click tool, but the right click assi is assigned to open the shortcut menu. So if you right click on the background of the editor, like the arrange area here, you get the arrange area shortcut menu. You right click on the background of the piano edit, you get the piano edit shortcut menu. You right click on a MIDI region, you get the MIDI region shortcut menu. Right click on an audio region, you get the audio region shortcut menu. And right click on a MIDI note, you get the MIDI note shortcut menu and right click on the gray background of any track header and you get the track header shortcut menu. So the right mouse button by default is assigned to open the shortcut menus, but we're going to change it to opens the tools menu. Boom. And now right clicking brings up the tools and it's just a way better way to work. Because you can do everything without touching the keyboard, just selecting your tools. Right click, choose the pencil, pencil in a region change its length, right click, choose the scissors, cut the region, right click, choose the pointer tool, move the region, right click, choose the glue tool, glue a couple of the regions next to each other together, right click, choose the mute tool, mute a region or, or group of regions, unmute, eraser tool, erase, etc. Really easy, right? And it's the same in piano edit, you know? All you've got to do is use the right click. Right click, pencil tool, pencil in a note. Right click, scissors tool, cut the note. Right click, pointer tool, move a note. Right click, glue tool, glue a couple of notes together on the same pitch lane, boom. Right click, mute tool, mute a note or more than one note. Unmute, etc. Right click, eraser tool, 
erase. It's really easy to work, right? It's the way best way to work. But now we assign the toolbox to the right mouse click to get our shortcut menus, we have to use control left click. Now this isn't such a chore because you don't use the shortcut menus that much, but control left click now gives us the shortcut menu. So control left click on the background of the arrange area, arrange shortcut menu. Control left click on the background of the piano edit, boom. Piano edit shortcut menu. Control left click on a MIDI note, MIDI note shortcut menu. Control left click on an audio region, audio region shortcut menu. And control left click on a track header gray background area, track header shortcut menu. Yeah, so it's control left click to get your shortcut menus up. Easy peasy. But that is the best way to work in Logic. Assign the right mouse to open the tool menu. It's so easy to work. Bing, bang, bong. Okay, there's a tip. Hope it's useful.